Good evening, folks. Brandon Cross here, BJC Outdoors. Hey, I was going through my uh, clips while ago. I was trying to edit a video, and uh, I ran across some clips, man, that I've been saving from uh, previous flathead trips this year uh, for the last, I guess, six months, I guess, since spring. Uh, but anyway, uh, these all these trips, man, was cut short uh, or on a day when I couldn't go fish the main river place. So I wanted to do some fishing for blues. Uh, so I just capitalized on that time, and I'd go fish, you know, Areas where there's a bunch of timber, a bunch of log jams, rocks, bluffs, whatever, trying to catch some flathead. Uh, I did end up catching a few, uh, a few good ones, not nothing real, real big, but uh, man, them things are fun to catch. And uh, I just couldn't, you know, I wasn't gonna throw the clips away. I thought, well, I'd just wait, you know, till midsummer or whatever, and put them all together. Uh, I usually do my best flathead fishing in the fall. Uh, that's when I catch the bigger ones. Uh, my area's hard to target flathead because you know our river, uh, Tennessee River here, is a mile wide. Uh, so they can be anywhere from one shore to the other. Uh, very hard to target specific flathead. Uh, now you can find a spot where they're at, you know, and go back and catch them. Uh, but for me, it's all new to me as far as uh, targeting flathead. Uh, but it's something I'm looking forward to next year because what I found this year, I can capitalize on that and put it all together for next year. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just going to let y'all know that's, that's kind of what this video is. Just random clips. I have my buddy Donald out there. He caught him a nice flathead. Uh, that trip didn't last maybe an hour and a half, man. The wind got up and blew us off the river. But uh, it's kind of them kind of deals where I couldn't make a full video, but I wasn't going to waste it and throw it away. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all have a great day, and God bless you. Feels like a good feed. Man, he got me down this stuff, too. Big old flathead, folks. Flathead right there. Big old head on that rascal. He hit a skipjack chunk. Beautiful colors on that thing, man. Got scars all over him, been down in them rocks. That's what we come for. So, mission accomplished so far. I know there's some more here. So, like I said, there's some big flathead in this area. So, that's what we're going to target starting out. Well, let's get him back, man. He made a mess, but hey, I'll take it any time. Thank you, buddy. I'm amazed at how strong the flathead are. And then at the same time, you get them in a the boat, they're just as calm as they can be. They're not like a, a blue, you know, blue act of fool when you get them in a the boat. But. I'm sure some of them do. I've had them back to food. Most times they're just pretty calm, man.
That one come off a live bluegill right here. Thinking it may be a flathead. Digging like one. I knew there was some in here. Good play, eh? He ain't no monster, but he's nice. That's what we after, though. You know, uh, I caught one big one, put it on there. Just take got all the rods out. There we go, folks. Nice flathead. Like I said, them things, man, they strong. If you look what a mouth on that little rascal. He ate a pretty good, pretty good size blue as big as my hand. Well, all right. Well, let's get him back, man. Hey, we know they're here. That's what we, that's what we need to find out. First fish of the morning, folks. Don't know how big he is yet. He took it down like a pretty good one. Having no spot in the boat with me, I forgot to grab the net. <laughs> good flathead, man. That's what we're down here for, folks. Trying to kick you no flathead. Nice flathead, though. You're gold. Yes, sir. Here we go, folks. Just started first anchor. Folks, there he is. Donald got him a nice flathead. He ain't no monster, but hey, that's a good start. All we need is a establish a pattern. Well, we're gonna get him back and see if we can get us another one. Got one on right there, folks. It sure was fighting funny. I think it's just swimming with the current. It definitely feels like a flathead. I don't think it's no monster flathead, but you don't feel like a bad one. Ain't none of them bad. <laughs> Nothing better than I think. 
or better than I thought for sure. It's definitely a flathead. Mm -hmm. Get a bite on this one here too. Get a bite on that one too. Definitely a flathead. I got my drags kind of loose on these. I only run a 25 pound line on these on these rigs, but. Boy, you tired yet? You tired yet? Yes. <laughs> he ain't. He ain't no monster flathead, y'all. But he's. He really thinks he is. But he ain't no bad one for sure. I'll explain to y'all here in a minute what I did. Oh, I changed up a little bit of something since I came out here the last time. Come on up here, boy. Typical flathead, when he sees them lights, he goes back down. Every time, I mean. He may be better than I think. I got a glimpse of him while ago. Oh yeah, he's a nice little flathead. He ain't no monster, but he's, he's a good one. He ain't a good one, though. Heck yeah, man. That's exactly what I come out here for. Like I said, you don't never know uh, fishing for these things. Uh, if you're going to get into a monster or, or a small one, but that definitely ain't no bad one right there. Like I said, he ain't no, there goes one right there, another one. I think we fixed some catch some fish here tonight, folks. All right, folks. Nice flathead right there to start with. Said he ain't no monster, but he's a dang good one. Dang good one to start with. Beautiful, beautiful fish, man. Well, all right, let's get him back. I think we're in the right spot. There you go, big boy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, folks. Don't even get started good. <laughs> <laughs> 